Now to Iranian affairs analyst Abbas Aslani, who joins us live from Tehran. Thanks for speaking to us. I mean, the U.S. has always said it stands with the Iranian people, but against uh, the regime. This report, though, really exposes how much ordinary Iranians are suffering uh, from these sanctions. Is there a way, then, to address that overcompliance that Human Rights Watch thinks is at the, the root of the problem? It's preventing companies who could supply medicines and humanitarian supplies to Iran, but they're too scared uh, to fall afoul of the U.S. government. Well, uh, contrary to the claims of the American admin administration, the sanctions are targeting the humanitarian aspect of the Iranian uh, people's lives. And uh, these days we are seeing that the medical and pharmaceutical products cannot be imported to the country. And this is as a result of the sanctions and the uh, lack of any banking transaction. When any transaction cannot happen, nothing can be imported uh, to the country. And uh, some other country companies are also, as you said, that they are intimidated by the sanctions that are imposed by the United States. Uh, about, uh, as it is said by the Iranian officials, about 96 to 97 percent of the medicine is produced inside the country. But let's not forget that, according to themselves, about one third or a bit more of the ingredients of those medicine is imported from outside. And that's why we are seeing that the import of medicine, when it's related to illnesses or sicknesses like cancers or even some routine sicknesses uh, have been impacted because of the sanctions. And uh, I, this is something which is visible among the ordinary Iranian people. Uh, and you, you do not need to go to some specific group to find that uh, there is shortage or lack of medicine among them. Uh, in okay. addition to the shortage, it has also resulted in the high prices of those medicine and this has made uh, it difficult for the ordinary people to provide the cost of their curing and let's say the medical treatment uh, and uh, this is uh, right. something which i have Let personally experienced when i'm making any foreign travels i'm hearing from some friends or people around me that asking whether if i can find some medicine they need uh, in order for the, their medical treatment. But this is something from person to person. This can be very limited. But there are many other people who are suffering from this problem. And we are seeing that right. parents seeing their but the children problem is, suffering uh, from the illnesses the before United, their eyes. The United States will continue to blame uh, the regime's intransigence, as, as they will put it. Uh, so let me ask you from the other side of this equation. I mean, Iran has long gotten by without a core source of nuclear power that it says it wants to develop now. And that has really caused uh, a lot of, of these sanctions to go into effect. So why shouldn't Iran uh, just comply uh, with the nuclear agreement? Why not just put its entire nuclear program on hold if it means saving Iranians' lives, at least in the short term? Well, uh, I think we, we shouldn't forget that the sanctions were imposed against Iran at the time that the country was in co full compliance of the terms of the nuclear deal. Uh, it was the Trump administration that, uh, despite the many uh, reports by the International Atomic Energy Agency confirming Iran's compliance, they withdrew and exited the nuclear deal. Uh, and this was the beginning that made Iran to gradually reduce its nuclear commitments. And yet Iran is, is still in the nuclear deal, but the Americans have withdrawn from the deal. Uh, and the sanctions uh, existed at the time that Iran complied and kept its commitments in the deal. And this is not something as a result of, the, uh, I would say, the Iranian policies. And I think world witnessed that it was the Americans who started this game. Okay. And uh, despite they claim that they are with Iranian people, I think this is not something which can be sold to Iranian public today in the country. They understand okay. that the Americans are trying to uh, put pressure on them in order to uh, bring change to the system or the behavior of the system in the country. Okay, Abbas Aslani, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Tehran.